I see that you got divorced again. So who was it this time? Another boy toy. Oh, what does it matter? Like moths to a flame, men would kill to be with a star like you. Look, all your biggest moments right there. L.A., New York, Paris, Tokyo, Milan. Oh, good God. You remember Milan? Not our best moment, you and me. Oh, I could still hear Adam. You'll never work in this town again. Blah, 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 blah. What a drama queen. The highlight of my life. And after all this time, you still have the hair of a 20-year-old. Flawless tips. And perfectly balanced pigmentation. So, what makes hair so fascinating? It's the paradox, darling. I mean, hair's basically dead stuff. So, how can something dead be so full of life? It's soft. It's delicate. And it has this indescribable warmth that just draws you in. It's a crafty, insidious tool of seduction. It can spark a beautiful relationship. Or destroy one in less time. It takes to run your hand through it. Oh, yeah, I know. C'est la vie. Of course, you're one of the lucky ones. Hair like yours only comes around once in a blue moon. You didn't have to work for it or earn it. You're just born and poof, voila. There it was. I'm not suggesting that my extraordinary original styling skills played any part in your meteoric career. But then again, it is hard to imagine where you would be today if it wasn't for me, right? An American philosopher once said, those who achieve greater success due to greater natural abilities have no moral right to greater happiness because those abilities are intrinsically worthless until valued by society. Let me dumb it down for you. You've been blessed with magnificent hair. And because of that blessing, you've lived a charmed life. Looking down at the little people's petty little lives, convinced that you are the reason for your own great success.
and shitty relationships. Now that your lucky genes are of no use to you anymore, because, well, let's face it, the rest of you didn't exactly follow. I'm not taking anything away from you. I'm merely redistributing what is collectively yours, giving someone else a real nobody, for all I know, a chance to shine. Yeah. 